Hey everybody, today Ryder previews a prototype of Ping Yao. But before I begin, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that if I'm making rules goofs, you know what they are. And of course, I'm not Rado, I'm Shay Parker. I'm helping Rado cover even more games. Games like Ping Yao, where we are in historical China in the city of Ping Yao, a place that is sometimes referred to as ancient Chinese Wall Street, because this is where the first banks of uh, of China really took hold uh, in, in Ping Yao. And we are I, I'm going to be playing as rival bankers managing uh different uh bank branches and just in general trying to make money now this is a dice placement or yeah a dice worker placement game uh, where we are going to be rolling our manager dice and then sending them to various locations on the board which will get us various bits of money we start off with some capital we've got uh some silver ingots in our headquarters we've got a, a bank branch um with the money on it. And these branches will always have something uh, on them in the center. This is sort of a uh, special ability. This is just telling me that it counts as a red branch, uh, as well as the space that it's on, which is a green branch. If you look at uh, the locations, you see they're color coded a little bit. Oh, and I have my money here. That's just because you won't be able to see these black coins against my black uh, background. But anyway, I've got a little bit of capital on my starting bank branch. Um, and I'm going to use it to make as much money as I can. Because in this game, you are getting victory points for certain things at the end of the game. But basically, it all boils down to who has made the most money by the end of it. Um, so, uh, I, I'm playing a two-player game. So, I'm splitting my brain into my left brain and my right brain. Um, and this plays almost exactly the same as a regular game, with the exception that there are going to be some public dice. I'm going to show you what those do right now because we're going to start with the preparation phase. Now, normally everyone would just roll their dice and they would place them in this track along the side here, but we start with public dice. And what these are um, is uh, these are dice that are going to kind of gum up the works of the city in front of us. Um, there are six locations, though for the first two rounds, you don't have access to these two. Um, and when you are playing with public dice, you'll start with the first player and you'll pick one die, and you'll put that die on uh, the rest area of one of the locations, or you can just say, we're not gonna use that. And you know what, for the first round, I'm gonna say let's not use them at all, because I want you to see why these are important. So first player will just take a die and say, either put it here or remove it uh, for now. Second player would take uh, two dice and do the same thing with each of them, and then back to the first player to use the last one again. I'm going to put those to the side for now so that you see how the rest of the game is played. Now, um, we're going to roll our personal dice and we're going to place them along this track on the side uh, based on the number that was rolled. So this four would go into the four space. Uh, that's going to be a little bit tough to see the uh, manager dice, these D4s. Um, they are going to go in these spaces. Oh, hey, look, we've got fours and threes. Um, so, once we've done that, uh, each player will get to place their dice. Now, because we've got some ties, whoever has the first player token at the moment uh, gets to place a die first, and uh, then you will get to take one of the actions. So with my first die, I'm looking at some of the things I can do. Uh, there are four uh, locations available at the moment. Um, this one in the center will let me pick a new bank branch to fill out my, my personal player board. Uh, I could go down here to uh, get either a loan or a deposit. Now, you might think, okay, I'm gonna make a loan, I'm gonna place a loan, or sorry, I'm gonna take out a loan or place a deposit, but no, you are the bank. So someone is giving you a loan, or sorry, someone is getting a loan from you, or someone is placing a deposit uh, uh, into your bank. So if I were to do that, that would affect uh, either giving me more ingots to work with, that's someone uh, making a deposit, um, or I could uh, give out a loan to the government, and uh, then I would make uh, money on that uh, on interest. Uh, but it means that I wouldn't have my ingots to work with, and I need ingots to do other things like building out branches. I think I'm gonna start with that. I don't need a high number on this because, oh, and I should mention that the way uh, these dice work is you're gonna go from high to low uh, as you place the dice, but the number on the die is also important. Lower numbers tend to have stronger abilities. Of course, when it comes to building branches, a low number isn't that bad in the beginning of the game because I don't have a lot of money to work with. 
and it limits which branches you can pull. Now, I can, with a four, grab either a uh, level one or a level two branch, but I don't have the money to do a level two branch, so I'm just gonna grab a level one. And when I do that, I will grab three branch tiles, and I will choose one of these um, to be one of my new branches. Now, each of these has a special ability, as you can see. Um, and uh, these will come into play later. This is uh, allowing me to change the value of one of my dice when I'm uh, preparing. Um, this is letting me re-roll dice for one coin cheaper. You can always re-roll a die before you place it. Um, and this will let me look at extra cards when I'm doing remittance. Remittance is not something I'm uh, uh, doing just yet, but that's up here. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. I'm going to take this uh, die that will let me decrease the, uh, the value of one of my dice uh, right after I roll it. Um, so I think that's going to be pretty useful for me because, like I said, lower numbers are uh, a little bit stronger. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to place it on one of my empty bank branches. Um, I've got a red branch and a yellow branch uh, handy, but since I've got this one in the center that counts the green and the red, again, that'll come up uh, in a little bit when I'm talking about remittance, I'm going to go over to uh, this yellow branch, I'm going to place that here. Now, when I take this action, I have to spend some money. Um, I have to spend six coins uh, in order to establish this, um, and I have to fund it uh, with, sorry, one silver ingot. This is setting up the bank with some profitable funds. These are going to make me some money um, as I uh, as, when we finish the round, but it's going to make an amount of money based on how many ingots are on the bank tile itself. So right now it's got one, and I can put one on there a little bit later. But for now, uh, that will be the end of my turn. I have paid my cash uh, to escort this money to the local branch, the local town uh, where I'm setting up my bank branch, and now I'm passing it over to Right Brain. I've got a four here now. I might want to make another branch myself, but I can't right now because there is already a four here. Um, if I want to place a die, it must be in a location where there is no matching die or no matching number. So I can put it on any of the other three spaces that are available to me right now, except this one. Um, oh, and one thing I forgot to mention real quick, going back to left brain, when I place a branch, uh, I also move up on the fame track. Uh, fame track will, oops. The fame track uh, is this track down here. It's gonna give me a couple uh, different things as I go. Um, for now, it's nothing, but uh, if I go to the next space, then I will instantly get a, a, an agent that I can put on one of my uh, branches if I want to do that. Um, so going back to right brain, what to do with this four? Well, I could uh, take out, uh, sorry, I could accept a loan or give a deposit. Um, I'm, I'm never going to get that right. It's, it's so hard to, to make me think that I am a bank when I'm, I personally am not. Um, I could go to uh, the town god's temple uh, and just move one space on the fame track if I wanted to do that. But I think I'm going to take out, uh, I'm going to do a remittance. Um, so I... Uh, when I do this, I will draw a remittance card. And what is happening right here is I am going to uh, basically accept uh, some money and uh, in the form of silver ingots. I am going to, or uh, a silver ingot, I'm going to place it on one of my branches or in my headquarters. And then I uh, am going to have a certain amount of turns to give it back. And also during this time, I'm going to have a brokerage trade. This represents uh, a person giving money to one branch uh, of a bank and then going somewhere else. So they don't have to travel with a bunch of money on them. And then once they get to that location, they're going to take it back. Um, and they'll pay me a little bit of money for the time being. But while I have those ingots, I can do whatever I want with them. Now, oh, I should also mention, yeah, everything's in Chinese. This game is pretty language independent. And I'm sure that uh, when they release this um, for an American audience, Things will be translated, uh, but uh, for now, uh, you'll see that the bank that I uh, give to has to be green, and the bank that I take from has to be yellow. 
Now, looking at my player board, I've got this one branch here that is both yellow and red, which means that this can be the bank that I take from, but I don't have a green branch that I can give to. Of course, my headquarters count as every color. So I can make sure that I give that uh, ingots to my headquarters and I can uh, take it from uh, this yellow branch. Now, because I put a four onto the remittance space, then I, that means I can place this card on the second space on my player board, which uh, is gonna be right here. So I will take the card, place it right here. You can have multiple cards in the same space, uh, but they're gonna slide down every turn or at the end of every round. And then take one of these cubes, doesn't matter which one, they just have matching colors. And I'm going to place it here. This is t letting me know that I'm going to owe one ingot from this uh, branch uh, once this comes due, which is when it uh, reaches the end of the track. And uh, because I did this, I get a brokerage fee, brokerage fee of two coins, uh, which is all well and good for me. Um, so, and there are also things like if, uh, if the bank that I take out from at the end is uh, level two or level three, I'll get more money. But if I take it, uh, the bank I take out from is my headquarters, I'm actually gonna make less money. So I want to avoid that where possible. I was a little lucky with this. And uh, because I did this, I will get to move up on my remittance track. Like the fame track, you can keep going on this. If you reach the end, you get some points. Um, but at certain points along the way, these are going to improve the remittance action. Uh, this one, for example, if I get to number three, I'm going to get one extra coin um, for uh, one extra coin for um, doing the uh, doing the remittance action. Uh, so that's something I might want to do in the future. For now that's going to be the end of my turn, so I'm going to pass it back to left brain because now we've got some threes to work with. Um, now with the three, I could go to any of the spaces that have already been used. I would just sort of bump the uh, die back to uh, the rest area. Now, when you do this, there is sometimes a cost or a benefit depending on the number that you're working with. Uh, if you're using a lower number, you're gonna have to pay some money to the bank. If you're using a higher number, you're gonna, you can get some money from the bank. But the good thing about manager dice uh, is that they uh, improve it by one for you. So if you have to pay money, you, have, you pay one coin less. If you're gaining money, you gain one coin more. Um, but as it is, I've got threes and these are fours. So even if I went to one of these locations, wouldn't get anything from it. Um, now the question is, do I want to take this die and uh, move it to one of these spots or uh, do I want to go to something that's already been done? Now I don't have enough money to get another bank branch. So that's, that's not something I'm gonna do. Um, I could go here, which actually seems like a good way to get money. See, right now I only have the four coins. I want more than that. So I'm looking at ways to get money. And I think that I, I could do that. Um, I think going here would be a good, uh, a good way to make money. Um, but I got, this, uh, I got this bank branch and I wanna be able to use it. And the reason I can't is because there's no manager on this space. If I had a manager on this bank branch, then, the, uh, then I will be able to use the ability for it. But as of right now, I can't. So. I'm going to do something just a touch, com uh, not convoluted, but like it's just a multi-step process. Oh, this was a three. So I'm going to go to the town god's temple. I want to get famous. I want to be famous, y'all. Um, so I go there. That gets me one fame because this is a three and we're on the uh, middle of the section here. Um, three just gets me one fame. Don't have to pay anything, um, but I just get one, one out of it. So I'm going to move my fame marker one space forward and that immediately grants me... Uh, one of these agents, which I can assign to uh, one of my branches to be the like uh, branch president. Um, so now that I have an agent in that spot, I will be able to use this action during the preparation phase, which is when to roll the dice. And uh, also having uh, agents on the board will be a, a little bit of endgame scoring. It just helps out a little bit. Um, so that's uh, my action, passing it back over to right. And we've got a three as well. Again, I can go to every action except for this one because this one has a three on it. I, hmm, what, so what should I do? I do kind of want another bank branch. Um, so I could go here. I have the money for it. I have uh, the ingots. So that would be pretty good. Um, 
But also, because I have the money right now, I might want to just make more money uh, with it. I mean, that's the name of this game, making money. And uh, I, so I think I want to do that. I'm going to send my three here, and instead of receiving, no, instead of giving out a loan, I am going to uh, make a deposit. Um, instead of receiving a deposit, I'm going to give out a loan. I'm never going to get that right. Uh, so what I do for this is I'm going to take some of the uh, ingots in my bank and I'm going to loan them out to the government. Um, because I put a three down, I can only put these two in, in the two space. Um, there's one, two, or three, uh, and that just uh, tells you how long uh, these ingots are going to be uh, on loan and are going to be making money. Um, so I'm going to put two there, and I, uh, I'm i going to be able to make some money off of this. Um, and I'm going to show you how uh, right now, because we are at the end of the round. Everyone has placed their dice, so we move on to the next phase, which is where things happen. Uh, remittance phases go down, the loans pay out. So uh, this one happens first. Uh, it'll go uh, loans, deposits, and then remittance. So uh, start with the loan. I'm going to take these two ingots and I'm going to move them one face to the left. And for each ingot that I have, I am going to make uh, two coins. Um, there is a, a sliding track with this, which is uh, dependent on your space and fame track. The more famous you are, the more money you make uh, from your loans. <laughs> um, so I'm going to make two coins each for that, which is going to get me, let's see, I'm going to grab one of these fives to make charge. And then uh, I take my remittance card and I'm just going to move that one space down. It's not done yet, but at the end of the next round, I'm going to have to pay this off, which is going to be this one here. We also get income for each of our uh, banks. Um, income might actually happen before this. I don't remember offhand, but I don't think it matters too much. Um, so each of these bank branches has profitable funds. There are two ingots here. I've got these banks over here with three, and I'll show you, if you see on the bottom right, you see this little two next to the ingot symbol. This means that up to two uh, ingots on these branches can be profitable. Now, if I had more, on the space, I wouldn't make money for all three of these because only two of them are profitable. That's just a thing about these branches. So uh, I'm gonna make money for each profitable ingot on my player board. Uh, so looking at it, uh, each, oh, and uh, for level ones, each of them is going to make two coins per ingot. So another four coins over here, let's make a little more change. And it's gonna be six coins over here. So making back some of that money that we spent. Um, once that is done, we are going to move on to uh, the next round. Clean these up, grab them back, and we're going to roll them again. But uh, before we do that, the thing that we can do is buy ingots. During the preparation phase, I can spend 10 coins to buy an ingot. And because, right brain, I've got enough, uh, I'm going to do that. I've made a good amount of money this, uh, this last round. I still have... 10 coins available. I could buy another one, but that seems a little bit uh, greedy because you cannot sell these. You can only buy them. Um, so I am good for now. Let's, oh, and I'm going to be first player for this next round. But again, that only matters uh, in uh, breaking ties. So now we are going to be uh, rolling the public dice again. Now I'm gonna show you how these work. So looking at the public dice, did I roll all once? I rolled all once. That's wild. Um, so, uh, rolled all ones, and now we need to determine uh, where they go. Oh yeah, and we'll uh, roll the um, our own dice as well. Okay, that's a lot of ones. Red's got all ones, blue's got three to four again. But first, so, what to do with these guys? Well, these ones, they're gonna block me. Um, like I said earlier, we can't place dice if there is a matching die in the active or the rest area. And these are gonna go to the rest area. So as first player, I, I think I want to get rid of these because 
the more places these go, the fewer options I have. Um, so I'm going to take uh, just one of these dice and just going to get rid of it. But then I have to pass it over to left. And aha, now I can block off the actions that I don't want uh, right brain to be able to do. So let's see. I, I see that they have money. Um, and they have plenty of ingots. So they're probably going to want to do a bank branch. So I'm going to take one of these, put them in the bank branch. Now I can't put another one of these in there, even if it were a different number. Uh, with the public dice, you can only have one per location. Um, so where else do I want them to not be able to go? Well, uh, another thing that would be really helpful for them is going to uh, the Town God's Temple. Getting, getting fame is really good, especially when you're giving out when you're making deposits, making deposits, giving deposits. Yeah, that's the one when you're doing this one. Um, so I have put those out going back to right brain. I, again, I just want to get rid of this. Um, but, uh, that's, that's fine. We're, uh, we're done with that. But now we go back to go back to left and now we get to actually use the dice that we have. Now I could, uh, at this point, uh, change the value of one of my dice because I have that bank branch that lets me do that. And I think I will. Uh, I'm not going to change this four because I have to reduce it in value. So I could change the four to a three, but that doesn't help me anymore because threes and fours are kind of the same thing. But instead, I'm going to take this three and I'm going to turn it into a two. So I'm move it over there. And now we're going to start. I have this four that I can put pretty much anywhere. And if I want, I can put in one of these two spaces. Um, it won't help me because I'm not actually bumping it off. I, if if one of these dice were in the active area and I put a four there, I would actually make some money off of it. But because they're in the rest area, I don't make money off of it. That's fine. I need to figure out what to do with my single ingot. I could go here, get another bank branch. That wouldn't be too bad. I could pay for it. I'd get another one here, but then I'd have no money in my personal account. I do kind of want to make some money. Um, I think, you know what? I think I'm going to do a remittance after. I know I'll be able to, to place it anywhere um, if I have to. So that, I think that'll be fine. It'll give me some more money to work with for now that I will then be able to spend maybe on a higher value bank branch. We'll see. So I go over to the remittance action, take a remittance card. This has to take, uh, give to and take from a red bank. Um, I can't choose the same bank, though. So uh, I'm going to take this. It's going to go in my uh, second space because, again, I have a four. I could put it lower if I wanted to, but I, I don't. Um, generally, it makes more sense to put it as high up as you can. Um, so I'm going to take one of my cubes. Again, it doesn't really matter which one. Um, and I'm going to put one there. And I'm going to give one to my home bank. I'm going to take one from this bank branch. And of course, because I'm doing remittance, I get two coins and I get to move up one space on the remittance board. Uh, but that was nice and quick. Let's go on to my next action, which is going to be placing this two. Now this, uh, I think, hmm. So I can do a, a much more powerful action with a two than with a four. So if I wanted to, I could go uh, here, maybe I can get a little extra famous. I could spend two coins and get two fame. Um, and that'd be pretty cool. I do like moving up the fame track. Uh, so I think that might be a thing I want to do. But I don't know if I want to do it yet. Another thing I could do is go back and do the, uh, the loan deposit thing. And I think I want to do that because that is going to get me money in the long term. Ooh, but that means I will have to spend my ingots, and I won't have access to them for a while. I think I won't be able to get more bank branches. See, there's a lot of things that you gotta keep in mind. Um, you know what? I'm going to go uh, Town God's Temple uh, because I think that I think that it's going to help me out more. Um, so I'm going there, I'm gonna spend two coins, those two coins that I just got, and bump up my fame. I'm famous. And now, every time I do the uh, deposit, loan, I do the loan, whatever this is, um, I will get uh, an extra coin for each ingot that I put there. Uh, so that's going to give me more money once I actually do that action, but I haven't yet. So now, right brain has uh, a few things to do. And 
while I want to do uh, these two actions, the one they blocked off, I can't do them right now. But I, that doesn't mean I'm out of options. Every time you put a die down, you can pay a coin and re-roll it and then place it wherever you want. So I'm going to do that. Take this d6 and put that. I rolled another one. So that means, so now I have to put this somewhere. Um, and I could put it up here. Uh, but because there's a four here and I'm putting a one, I'm going to have to pay three coins to the bank if I did that. And I don't really want to do that. So instead, I, I have two options. I can put it there and pay some coins, or I can put it here and do one of these. I think that's okay, though. Uh, it's going to be a little tricky, but so when I go here again, I have the option of doing the loan I, that I did before. I can put two more of my ingots up here. I can even go to the three. That's going to make me even more money. I'm going to make a lot of money out of this. Oh, and you know what? I'm going to get these two back. So maybe that's a good idea. The other thing that I could do if I really wanted more capital to work with is I could take on a deposit. Uh, a person deposits uh, their money into my bank, and then I will move my little meeple here because for an amount of turns, I'm going to have to pay interest on this. Uh, as long as there's a meeple here, I'm going to pay two coins every round. Now, you might think, oh, hey, you make a lot more money off this than you do this. Yes, you are a bank. Money is always going to work out better in your favor. Um, so I could do that, but I don't need these right away. So I'm, I think I'm just going to go for all money all the time. Let's do it. So I go here. You can have a maximum of four ingots in this space and two in each uh, locate or two in each timing slot. Um, so I'm doing that one first, and now I've got this die again. I could put it on the remittance. I don't really need to. I would much rather go to one of these spaces. So I'm gonna pay another coin and roll it. Ooh, it's a two. Well, here's where I was dumb. Don't be like me, folks. I put both of my ingots here. If I was smart, I would have only put one because you don't have to put all uh, both. If I had put one, I could go here. I could grab another bank branch, but I was dumb. I did a bad thing. Um, so now that I've rolled the two, uh, the locations are I can uh, I can go here, but I can't you know take this action because I don't have any ingots to work with. Um, I could I can't go to the town gods, which is where I wanted to go really. Uh, I could go to the here, I could accept a deposit and I actually make a little bit of money because I'm pushing off a one with a two. Even though they're my dice, I still make money off of that. Um, and because it's a manager, I'd make an extra coin. So I'd make two coins. Whoopee. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to be making a lot of money and the only thing I'd really be able to do for that is accept a deposit, which I would then have to pay money uh, on when I don't really need these right now. So what I'm going to do is take a remittance. I don't really want to do this. Um, but I don't necessarily have to. Now it's a four, I'm putting a two, but it's a manager die. So instead of paying two coins, I only have to pay one. Um, and now I get a remittance card. Uh, this has to go to a green and come from a green. I don't have two locations that will satisfy this. So I can't actually play this card. Um, I'm gonna take that and just uh, discard it. Uh, I am sad about it, but it is what it is. That being said, I do get to still move forward on the remittance track. So go in there and it, it, the next time I go there, I'll make more money when I do it in the future. Again, I need to get more branches on the board. I got, uh, this wasn't the best round for me, but uh, we're done with that. So we're gonna move down and uh, let's clean everything up. We'll make money off of this. Um, our bank branches are gonna make again, two for each uh, ingot in here. So that's four uh, for those. And on the left, that's gonna be six. Uh, my friend's doing all right now. And then we make money on all these guys. So these drop down, these move to the left. Each one is making me two, so that's eight. Doing pretty well there. So yeah, again, making some decent money. Um, this moves down though, which means that the remittance is due. So I take that cube back and I take off the ingot on that location. I take this card and I just discard it. Uh, so now there's fewer profitable funds in this location. There are ways to get uh, coins back over there or uh, ingots back under these spaces, but I don't have access to them just yet. Uh, on the left, this 
guy moves down, and we move on to the next round with the uh, first player token going back. Now, once I get to the third location, we unlock uh, another die for each player, as well as, if you're playing a two-player game, uh, the other public dice, and the last two locations. Uh, these are uh, the uh, central government, the, the county government, um, and the agency. This is where you can hire managers like we did here, uh, as well as if you use a good enough action, moving ingots from your headquarters to your branches. And over here, you are able to grab these uh, government tiles. These are expensive, but they're pretty powerful abilities. For example, getting this one uh, means that when I'm collecting income for every level one branch, I um, for, for every ingot on a level one branch, every profitable fund, essentially, uh, I will get an extra two. So instead of getting two per ingot, I'm getting four. So that's pretty good. Um, and uh, there are a bunch of others, but these cost ingots and sometimes money. So you have to balance out uh, how much you want to do them because they don't actually get you points. They make you money, which is effective. But I digress. Anyway, uh, I would move on to the next round. Again, rolling all of the public dice um, and uh, our personal dice, putting them into where they go. Well, a pretty good spread here. Now red gets to go first. But again, just because you go first doesn't mean your action is as good. And these guys, I don't remember if I rolled them, but let's say I did. Uh, so again, you go first player taking a die and placing it um, or uh, getting rid of it. So uh, again, looking at the ones, got a few ones. There's one here. Going to remove that, passing it. Oh, that was left brain doing that. And right brain taking these. Um, I'm just going to, I want to show you, show off some of these last actions real quick before we end up. So I'm just going to kind of put them randomly. Let's just say they went like this and this one didn't get in. Uh, I didn't think about that. That's not how you would really do it. But um, just for example, uh, for example, say, let's say that's how it went. <clears throat> so I've got this five. I finally want to get some more branches. So I'm going to take it here and grab one of these level ones um, and put here. So you, as you can see, some of them have the same action. I can't have two branches with the same action, but that doesn't matter because I'm just choosing one of these. <laughs> Uh, this guy lets me look at an extra remittance card when I take it. This would have been useful uh, on the last round. This one lets me increase the value of one die, but I also have to decrease the value of another. Um, so I've got to make sure that I really want to use that. But I think it could be pretty useful. So I'm going to take that one, put the other two away, and fill up that last spot. I haven't, uh, the last color that I don't have. And because I'm doing a level one, this costs six coins. And I take one ingot and place it there. Moving over to left, I think I want, um, you know what? I think I want to grab a level two branch. So I'm going to grab one of these, grab my manager die, uh, pay a coin, I'm going to roll it because I, oh, you know what? This, is, this isn't left brain, this is right brain still. All oh, left brain stuff is all the way down there. So can't do anything. We're still on right brain. I've got a four, I could put it down somewhere. And you know what? I've got uh, I've got some cash. I've got a little bit of extra ingots, so I think I'm going to go down here. And I've got a few options, um, but I apparently like doing remittance cards, so I think I might grab this one. This is every time uh, I get brokerage on a remittance card, I'm gonna get three extra coins. So that means every time I do this, uh, I can make some decent money off of those remittance cards. And again, the more I travel up that track more powerful will be. So I'm going to take this, I'm just going to put it uh, next to my player board so that I know that I have it. This costs one ingot, because um, they always do. But because I'm on the level four space, it's also going to cost me two coins. And for my last uh, token, you know what? I'm just going to go and get a little bit of fame. Actually, you know what? I got that remittance thing. Might as well use it. Um, go over here, look at a remittance card. Still only get to look at one. Uh, so now I have to give to a yellow and take from a red. Uh, well, I've got a yellow here, and I could take from red, but red would be my uh, red would have to be my 
headquarters, and I'd get less money out of that, and I'm trying to trying to make money, so I'm going to give to my home uh, bank, take from this one again, uh, putting down one of these, and getting two plus three. So I'm gonna get five coins out of that, making some good money, and moving forward on the remittance track, now hitting that trigger, so now every time I take this action, I'm gonna get another coin. So that's, that's gonna be the strategy for right brain for the rest of the game. Going to left brain, now we've got uh, got some low numbers, which are going to be good, but there's a few spaces on the track that have been taken. So I I do want to uh, I do want to get maybe a level two branch. I could do it. I could afford it, but just barely. Because uh, look at this. I let's say I take this two. I go to this where this five is. Um, so because it's five, I'm putting a two down. I owe three coins, push that over to the rest area. And now I pay three coins, leaving me with 12. Fortunately, that is exactly what I need for a level two branch. So now I'm gonna look at the level twos. Now level twos are a little different from level ones. Besides the fact that they're more expensive, um, they have abilities that will often earn you more money. Or you've got this guy, which counts as a branch of all three colors, much better for remittance cards. Um, but if I grab this one, this will get me, uh, during the income phase, one coin for every red branch that I have if I have a president on this space. Or this one, which I think I'm going to do, is one coin for every four fame. Now, I'm trying to get famous, so I think this will help me in the long run. So I'm going to grab this branch and uh, place it on any one of my branches. Uh, now, unlike with level one branches where when you place it you get fame um oh yeah i forgot to move right brain up on the fame track for their level one branch um for level twos and level threes you will get points at the end of the game for every uh branch you have here so it is worth it to get these higher level branches so grab this one but i don't have a person on it just yet uh in order to do that i need to send an agent there so i'm going to oh yeah also when i do this i spend 12 coins, that's all my money. Um, I'm gonna go here uh, for my next action, which is, yeah, and then the uh, level two branch starts with two ingots. So you need to have two there to, to make it worthwhile. Um, now I'm going to uh, put a guy here so I can go to the Confucian temple so I can get a, a manager and immediately place it on my space. Now I could place it on, uh, this location, which will get me, you know, extra coins based on my fame. That's probably what I want to do. But another thing I could do is I could place it below. On the level twos and threes, you have two extra spaces. This is going to increase the amount of ingots on the branch that I could make money from. So instead of only being able to make two, profitable funds with two, I can make it with three. But I need to get the ingots there in the first place. Um, so that's not something I necessarily want to do. And if I wanted to, I could even put it on an empty space, saving it for a future branch. But don't want to do that just yet. Instead, I want to put uh, the guide right on the branch. And then uh, lastly, if I had ingots here, because I had a level one uh, or a, a one on this space, I could move an ingot from here to one of these branches, but I'm poor. So that's not going to happen. Speaking of poor, I need money. Um, there's a few things I could do. I could, what? Uh, this is a one. Uh, I could go here and I could, uh, accept a loan, but if I do that, well, I won't have any money right away, but I will make uh, money from my income, so I will be able to pay off this loan, um, and that'll be some, some ingots that I can work with next round. That's probably what I want to do. Uh, the other thing I could do is go to remittance, except I can't go to remittance because I don't have the money to pay to use this action. Even though it would be discounted by one for the manager guy, I don't have anything. And the last thing I could do is if I don't want to place this, I don't have to. Because I have fewer than five coins, I can just discard this and gain three coins um, as sort of begging for money. Uh, but that doesn't feel good to me. I think I'm going to go for a loan um, or accept a deposit and do that there. Move this guy over here and that'll be good. So at the end of this round, let's make some income. Uh, we've got four coins for right brain. They're doing just fine. Um, but I here have 
two coins for each of these top levels, but also I get three coins for level twos, which means two, four, six, six, uh, sorry, three times three is six, and then two times three is also six. So I make 12. Then we're moving these guys down. Oops. Moving these guys down. Uh, sorry, I should do this in order. It goes this one, and this one, and these guys. So uh, first, right brain's making the income on this. They're getting uh, two each, so that's four coins. Left brain uh, doesn't have any of that, but does have a, a, with a deposit that they need to pay interest on. So they have to pay two coins um, because that's just the rate. So paying two coins to the bank and then moving these guys down. Uh, because uh, my remittance has ended, I take the cube back and take the uh, ingot back. Now, there is one thing that happens. You can put one of these uh, cubes on a space that doesn't have ingots. Um, per, assuming that eventually you'll get some there, but if you don't, then you have uh, emergency funding. You will have to take an ingot from somewhere else and then also pay, I think, five coins uh, for the transportation fees. And then if you don't have uh, five coins, um, you will have to pay another ingot from somewhere else. Each of these ingots is like a point, so that's a thing you don't necessarily want to do. Um, but I feel like that's given you a pretty good idea of uh, Ping Yao, so please check out the final thoughts. Uh, you can do that uh, by hitting the link at the top right corner or in the show notes below, and I will see you there in three, two, one. Bye, folks.